Hey everybody, welcome back to another Creo tutorial. I know it's been a minute since I've done these. Things have just been crazy and they take a little more time to record and make, but I finally have some time to start a new series. So in my, uh, I think it was my Gilded, and uh, one of the members talked about this filter, which was uh, the G, M I C. I don't know how you actually pronounce it, G Mick, I don't know. So I've been kind of like slowly playing with it. And this is a very massive tool. As you can see here, there's a ton of stuff. Uh, so this is just gonna be an introductory video about what it is, um, some really nice perks it has, and then we're gonna go over each section in a separate video because there's a lot here. And it's I'm not gonna be able to go over every little thing here, but I can go over the categories and at least give you any an idea of what they do and possibly how to use them in your work. And so to start with, as you can see, I'm gonna close this. Under filter, at the very bottom, you can go to start, uh, GM, GMIC or GMIC, and you have your image here. So I only have one layer of boxes, so that's the only thing that's showing up. And if you want to turn the preview off, you can. The only reason you would want to do that is if it was a heavy image or file and it was slowing things down, so you might want to turn it off. Especially if it's a repeated action you've done many times and you already know what it's going to look like, you know. Um, I'm going to keep it on just real quick. So the first thing I want to go over is the about section. So this is actually really clever, is everything you want to know about who made this, um, how to support them, and all that good stuff is in here. So you have an about section, you have the contributors, so people who helped um, produce this, place bugs or something like that, all that good stuff. Yeah, so debugging, packaging, testing, coding, uh, translation, all that good stuff. Um, there's a thank you there. They have download external data. Um, so if you wanted to do this, you could filter design. They have an explanation about a lot of this, what it is, uh, Hall of Fame, some other stuff in here. Look, it's, he's so cute. He's their mascot. There's like just, it's just really clever how they orchestrated how, like the about section split it up so you can look at things without being overwhelmed with a ton of information. I actually really liked this. So done with the about section. So here are all of the options you have for these filters. So if you start clicking through them, um, you can see it's changing everything and it, it looks very odd with the numbers in there um, for some of them. And that's gonna be your layers and other options that they have. This is so cool. I mean, if you're making tiled backgrounds, I know we have um, a feature where you can, in Creative, where you can see the whole pattern or whatever it is on your layer and see it repeat it, repeat it around um, the canvas, but not, um, it's not extending the canvas size, so to speak. I forgot what the mode is called. I used to use it a lot and now I don't, I think I turned the button off. Um, but now you can look at it here and kind of have it do that automatically with your image. So these squares, I want to make an array. So it does it automatically. I don't have to worry about blending it in with the edges of the image. You know, it's just really cool stuff. Um, a lot of these will have the authors of who made this. I'm trying to see where it went. Some of these will have links to tutorials. There was one in here that did, and I thought it was really, really interesting. Oh, there you go. He was a montage. Nope. Here we go. Montage. It's just a regular montage. They actually have links for a tutorial and a video tutorial. Um, so if we, if we click this, you can see here what it does is it takes images you want, so you put them on separate layers, and then it'll make a montage for you it automatically will set it for you. I thought that was a really awesome tool. So if you need to, uh, let's see, um, just do a quick, like maybe like uh, meet, the, like those artist memes or whatever, where you have your picture in the middle and all the pictures around it. You could do something like that, I'm sure. Um, this, it, I just thought this was a really awesome and very powerful feature to have in Krita. So I recommend checking that out. I'm definitely gonna check it out. Now all of them have links to the 
um, two tutorials, but you know, some of them are kind of like they're erased or the tileable stuff. It's kind of self-explanatory, but the fact that they have more information at the bottom of some of these options, I think that's just extremely helpful. Like this one, it has a description, it has interactions. That's a pretty big deal to me to have all this help within the tool. And I'm excited to go over, oh, this is gonna go crazy. I'm excited to go over some of these and really kind of highlight some favorites. Um, and like I said, I'm not gonna be able to go over every little option here because this is endless. This would be like a year's worth of tutorials. And that's, and some of this is just exploratory. You you have to figure out what you, you're interested in and learn it. Some of these light and shadow, burn, contrast, you know, these are kind of self-explanatory, drop shadow. We know what that does. Um, and obviously the, this is just a flat, ooh, that's cool, a flat um, image or layer. So there's something else really going on for me to really showcase it better, but there's a lot of cool stuff in here. So that's gonna be the introductory video for this tool. If you have specific ones you want me to go over, definitely let me know in the comments below and I'll make a note of that. And I will go over those in the video. Uh, it makes more sense for me to make a video on features and options that you actually want to know about versus me picking and choosing because what I might see as interesting, you may not. And I wanna try and make sure that this, these videos are meeting your needs first, so. Yeah. All right. So that's it for this introductory video. I hope you guys go take a look at it and at least kind of get familiar with the whole system and kind of clicking through and seeing what looks interesting. I, <laughs> we can put a rooster in here. That's interesting. Okay. So yeah, uh, if you had any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like I said, if you have something in here that you want me to specifically look over and um, go over and show you how it works or even just explain it better if you're not entirely sure what it's doing let me know in the comments below and i'll do my best to explain it if i can't i will let you know that too because some some things i'm just not entirely sure and some things just don't have good documentation or any documentation uh but this i don't think i'm gonna have that issue with this they seem pretty thorough in everything all right, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next videos and make sure to like this video if you are excited for this series. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.